I am competing in a Clash of Clans tournament and will shock everyone by breaking the game in this war. The 2v2 Invitational has set rules where you need to be creative. And there's even limitations on the amount of troops you can take of a certain type. So my typical Queen Charge Root Rider attack is not allowed. So why don't we push those rules to the maximum? Let me explain how. A Noah's Ark attack uses one of every troop, but I'm going to do a Judo's arc by also taking one of every spell and something else. You will have never seen a troop screen quite like it. The clan castle is how we're going to get this to work. Now in my clan, the Judo jungle, we have the maximum clan perk, so any donated troops gain an extra two levels, meaning I couldn't get a level one or two barbarian. It would be automatically upgraded, but I'm going to use that to my advantage later on. Let's start by leaving my clan and heading over to my recording clan which does not have this perk. Now I went through all of my accounts earlier to find out which ones I had barbarians level one, two, three, four, same for the archers, goblins, wall breakers, everything we need to fully optimize the 50 troop capacity. So let's start with my town hall two account and I can donate one level one barbarian, one level one archer and once it's trained one level one goblin. And now I need to do the task of loading into all of my different accounts in order to do this. One level two barbarian, one level two archer, one level two goblin, and one level one wall breaker. See how that looks real quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> It already looks so funny. Before we get too far ahead, let me show you what I mean in terms of the troops coming out of the clan castle. So we should have different types of troops. They all look the same there, but it's because they're only level one and two. However, when we exit, you can see the troops expended and it displays the troops numerous times because they're different levels. How much can we push that progress bar? Can it even load all of the troops that we're going to do? Once I had donated most of the troops, I then had to work my magic for the last couple of levels, but that's where one of my rushed accounts came in handy. <sighs> We're nearly there, but we might have to delete one of these wall breakers. I'm not sure if I donated one too many. We need one extra level of goblin, and then we have them all. And then we need a couple of extra levels of the archer and the barbarian. But if I now go to my Town Hall 15 account, this is my worst Clash of Clans base. So just bear with me. <laughs> Here's my master plan. My barbarian and archer are only levels four and six. But what I can do is gem those to level nine. Only level nine. I'm not going to gem them further than that. I didn't want to use a rune with such little storage capacity, so I did have to use some gems upgrading storages first, and, well, I didn't have many on this rushed account. Let's get a couple of gems. You can enter a creator code using the C in the top right. I already have code judo in there. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I think we're going to get the $49.99. Purchase successful. Okay, I think if we get this level upgraded, 700 gems or a book of building. Honestly, a book of building is more expensive than that. What? That gives me an extra 1 million going from 12 to 13. 14 to 15 only gives me half a million. I just assumed it was more. So if I upgrade this one as well, all of that so that I could use use one rune of elixir. That will allow me to upgrade the barbarian to level nine and the archer to level nine. Only to level nine. I've got a master plan here. Okay, let's think about this. So we need level nine and 11 barbarian, which we've got now. Level nine and 11 archer, which we're about to get. Goblin, we need level nine, but nine is the maximum. So I can get that from my main account. So I can get seven extra single troop capacity units and I only have five troop capacity left. So I've obviously miscalculated. I need to delete a wall breaker just because it's funny. Let's remove the highest level wall breaker. Do you really want to remove that reinforcement? <laughs> Oh no, look at that. I have two level five wall breakers. That's where the mistake came in. Oh, I have two level seven goblins. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So where did I get that level 10 wall breaker from? If we donate the level nine barbarian and archer, then if we move both of those accounts to judo jungle, didn't get an invite, didn't get an invite. Again, invite, invite, invite. I'm inviting it to the clan. <laughs> Oh my goodness, come on. Where's the invite? It says invite sent successfully. Let's try again. This has actually taken me over half an hour to donate all of the different troops. Oh my goodness, where is this invite?
I hope all of the live streamers the that cover this tournament appreciate that what that I have done to set up a creative attack. <laughs> Yay! It's worked! Oh my goodness! Accept! We're in business. Now that I have joined a clan where the perks increase the troop level by two, when I donate the barbarian... Yes, it's level 11! It says so right there! Barbarian and the archer level 11. We just need the maximum level barbarian, the maximum level archer, which I can donate to myself using raid medals, the maximum level goblin. That takes our troop capacity up to 49. There's no other way that we can optimize this to take 50 unless we drop a goblin and take an extra wall breaker but i think it's probably funnier to have all of the barbarians goblins and archers have every single level confirm let's buy those troops <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at this. I bet my army trained in the background. It did. <laughs> Look at all of the troops and then all of the spells and all of the clan castles. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is going to be so funny. It's a couple of hours until the war spin for the tournament, but I have a five hour shield, so I'm good. I just need to head across to the event clan and I will see you there. Carbon, my teammate for the 2v2. Welcome, my friend. Oh, it's great to be here. I'm excited to see what we could do. You know, we're going up against pros, so uh, we're gonna have some fun. Battle day has just started, so we can begin scouting the bases. And I'm pretty sure you're familiar with a Noah's Ark attack. I am. Are you gonna try that? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> a lot of the pros, they only use a certain amount of spells and they take out a chunk of the base with a super archer blimp or a blizzard and then they know as arc. But I'm actually going to attack using the judo arc with all of the spells. Oh my. We need to be creative. We're here to have fun and put on a show <laughs> for the viewers. Hey, make sure you're on double deployment bar and not zoomed in all the way. <laughs> I think for the content, it looks ugly on double deployment bar. So I'm going to keep you're it gonna on. You're going to scroll? I'm going to scroll it for the content. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, you ready Ooh. to lose, Carbon? <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> so what I am thinking is to use the E-Dragon on the gold storage to change through to the mortar at 8 o'clock. Do you think I need to rage that to take the mortar? Uh, yeah, I believe it's worth it to, to take that down. Because then what I was thinking is mm -hmm. I will place an ice golem there to attract fire of the enemy queen alongside my headhunter to try and take that out. Once the queen goes down, I can basically use anything to tank the arch tower and the mortar. So the Flinger can take that out. Then I have to make a strong push to the town hall. So are you going to go first? Okay, you know? okay, are you going to go first? Sure, okay, I'll attack first. Okay, Why okay. Not? All right, all right. Carbon, we are in game in the esports tab. No, me and you, no. live in front of everybody what? just to add the pressure. You didn't have to tell me this. <laughs> Carbon. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. For the Judo's Arc. I am ready for the Judo's Arc. I am. Good luck. 16 seconds. I have to attack at 33, right? Yeah, are you ready or what do you got? <sighs> <laughs> Am I ready? Are you ready? <laughs> what a question. Oh, Am God. I ready for this? I'm as ready as I'm going to be, okay. so let's go. Okay. I'm in. Oh, good luck. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Holy <laughs> jeez. What have I done? Dude, I can't see your spells. You can't see I my can't spells? I can't see your spells on my screen here. It's too many. Oh, my God. I just see the lightning rage and jump. Dude, you have so many spells. I can't see them. Okay. Okay. Well, that worked. Nice. Oh, you even damaged the queen a lot. Very nice. I did, I did. Okay. Now I need to go Ice Golem. I think I'm gonna put a wizard on there as well. Okay, is your warden on ground? Headhunter, headhunter, headhunter. Ooh, that's a lot of headhunters, okay. Ooh, nice. There you go, queen. Did I get the queen? Yep, queen's dead, queen's dead. Tesla did <laughs> pop up. Okay. There's a t couple Teslas over there. Okay, so I think I might use my Golem here to tang. Okay. Or my Flinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might actually use something else, like a Valkyrie here, mm -hmm. support. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go with a balloon and dragon there. How's the flinger looking? Can you Wait, keep an eye on the flinger? Yeah, yeah. For flinger's me? fine. Flinger's fine. I'll keep my eye on the flinger here. The golem, uh, the Valkyrie's tanking the mortar right now. Okay, now the fling, the flinger is going to get locked down by one shot. No. Oh yeah, one shot got hit by the flinger, but the flinger is now going to the scatter shot and the ricochet cannon. So perfect just out of the ground expo so it's probably going to open pretty soon here but it will go it'll take both of those down probably so your plan's going according to plan so far goodness oh my goodness i have no idea what i'm doing right now <laughs> it's okay don't worry as long as we're getting some two stars you know and we're just we're just having some fun okay 
Oh gosh, I need that warden ability, don't yeah. I? Yeah. Monolith I need is on the you. Wall break. Okay. I've got the CC. I don't know. Day. I don't know what spells you have. I literally can't see them. I have everything. I know. I have everything. You have everything. Coming. You could draw. Uh, okay. Well, there's the jump that's giving you access. Okay. I mean, you queen could. Ability. Oh, I didn't press my queen ability for the healers. What oh, am I doing? Oh, oh, there's your healers. Okay. Double seeking your mines. Okay. Val. Okay. So your flame flinger did open, but it did take out the scatter shot. Okay. You got a hog. You got a miner. You did get the two stars. Oh, I got a freeze. Hey. I got a two stars. Oh, I missed the eagle. Oh, gosh. Uh, Everything's falling uh, apart. It's all good. Trying to just get as much uh, percentage as possible here. 64. Oh, man. 65. Uh, let's use the poison, I guess, even though I can't do anything. 60. Should I end on 69? Oh, we're on uh, 70. It's all good. Oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> it worked. Let's go. You got the two Ooh. stars. You know what? If I would have popped my queen ability because of the healers mm. i might have actually got this but but carbon the best is yet to come oh yeah because the judo arc is uh. there it is <laughs> <laughs> it's got this oh my gosh what is that barbarian barbarian <laughs> archer archer gobble gobble wobble, wobble, wobble. what is this army oh um, <laughs> i have never seen I, I need a magnifying glass to see this true body <laughs> Bro, this is so crazy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, how do you see this? Judo. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this? That is crazy. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you want to see when I created a broken Clash of Clans account, I have that video linked on your screen. Enjoy the rest of your day.